guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Letter to Brazil by Diago Finel. Let's see what they did. Oh, they're cooking something. What are they making? Mm. Oh. Ah, sh Oops, we're cursing now, okay. Yeah. Why are you trying to make it? It's like a bread. Oh, that's r Russian. It looks like a potato pancake. Mm. Why is he? He's in Russia. Dear Brazil, I swear you guys are like an alternate universe version of the USA if it was more Catholic influenced and had more interracial children. Okay. okay, first of all, Brazil, I know you're a vast and complex country with numerous contrasting regions, so just going to the south side isn't really a full depiction of your country, but I'm just going to report back this specific Brazilian experience I had. So why Brazil? Two reasons. A while ago, when my channel reached 3 million subscribers, That's I asked my mom where she would like to go for a celebration. We, we should celebrate. Let's go somewhere. Where do you want to go next? South America, baby. Mm, Brazil. Okay. Argentina. Argentina. All right. Cool. And the second reason, my number one go-to favorite Brazilian, Diogo, whom, by the way, is super ugly and definitely not more attractive than me, and I am not in any way insecure about myself when I compare us, because why would I? He's hideous. Had invited me to visit him and his family in Brazil for a while now, so this was the perfect opportunity to do it. But the problem was, Diogo, or in his dialect, Diogo, came from the random, middle-of-nowhere city of Londrina. I had never even heard Aww. of the city before. I guess it's kind Neither of like the Lincoln, Nebraska yeah. of Brazil. It's a small <laughs> city surrounded by farmland. <laughs> Lincoln, Nebraska, yeah. catching strays? Okay. Dang. So in order to get there, we'd have to fly to the nearest major city and meet my number two go-to Brazilian, Vitor. Sorry, kind of throw you under the bus like that, Vitor, but I've known Diogo longer than you. And keep in mind, this was just one day before New Year's Eve, and we were going to spend it in a favela. Oh, so mm. this is like... Tired of the tedious time-consuming process old. of upgrading your Why is he uploading it now? Or... Mm. Like half a year ago. Wow. Maybe it took a long time to edit. I... Brazil, and here is Victor. Anything you want to say about Brazil? And I hope everything will be okay. I hope everything will be fine. That didn't sound too, yeah. too optimistic. Yeah, it's like, oh, I hope, I hope we don't die, you know. That's funny. Do you recognize any of the cars? Uh, not really. Uh... But I think Brazil might have more like European cars than they do here, like the Renault, the Citroën. Because in America we don't have those cars, but I, they might have them. Because I, I think I saw them in an Argentina video when we did, so mm -hmm. it might be in Brazil too if it's popular in South America. I'm gonna give some uh, gifts to Mr. Victor. Just give him a little gift. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, just some geography now stuff. Oh, you like I said. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot there's one thing I have to do if I go to Brazil. <clears throat> Whose song is that? Mm. Dear Brazil, or actually mm. more like Dear Sao Paulo. Like First of all, congratulations on surpassing Mexico City for having the largest city in the Americas. Oh. Second, I'm sorry, but I have to start with this. I hate how those stupid, annoying mountains are blocking you from the ocean. Like, what the hell? Every major city in Brazil has a cool coastline, and you guys are so close, like only 10 or so kilometers away. But Mother Nature had to be a total twat nozzle and <laughs> coast block you. I guess maybe this is part of the reason why you guys give off a more cold, no-nonsense, business-only attitude in your metropolitan vibe. But you know what? I can respect that. Not everything has to be a beach party, and someone has to get things done eventually. In any case, let's see how this goes. I'll report back that's to you after my first breakfast. I didn't know they separated by the mountains okay. from the beach. That's that's wild. That's wild. Yes. I mean, I guess you could go through the mountains to get to the yeah, beach, but that's, that's no yeah. easy feat. Yeah, that's hard. Spices. The fruit looks good. Those mangoes yeah. look ready to go. Oh my god. Coffee. Yum. Oh my god. It looks so good. 
Dear Brazil, I could eat like 40 of those little pounds of casual cheese ball yeah, things in one before. sitting. I think I pronounced that. Yes, the, oh, the cheese balls we had in the, the grill, or the Brazilian yeah. grill, right, yeah. I'm not trying to speak Portuguese, I just try to pretend to be like a drunk Russian speaking Spanish and I have like an 84% chance of getting it right. However, there's one thing I had never tried but was dying to, coxinha. The first What's time that? I had seen a picture of these glorious deep fried oh, conical shaped oh, things no. with shredded meat. No, what we ate wasn't deep fried, right? It wasn't just no, bread. No, it was, it was bread. This is something Cheesy else. bread, yeah, okay. Inside of them, I knew it was destiny for me to have one. So I was like, okay, I'll go to a local bakery and get some for mom and I. The problem was, I was so confused when I went there. They handed me this little plastic square thing with a barcode on it, and I was like, what do I do with this? I just want coxinhas. Later, as Victor explained to me, a lot of places in Brazil, especially food vendors, use the comanda system. Everything you want to purchase gets put on this comanda, which you use to check out at the register, and before you exit, you put it in a little slot to go through the turnstile. They say it helps organize things, and when I look at it, I guess it could also help prevent theft. Time for a coxinha. Ah. That's interesting. Ah. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. So you put it in the machine and then it lets you out. Yeah. Oh. I guess I would think how it works is you in the store, you kind of scan wherever, with every item you scan it, and as you pay, they scan, okay, it's paid, and then you walk out, you have to stick it in that you always oh, been paid mm. for, I would think. <laughs> Metropolitan map remind me of London a little bit, like the London underground system. Where are we going? Obrigado Pele. I think that's thank you Pele. I think we're going to the, the small city, no? The I thought this was still in São Paulo. Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't see this architecture when we did the the video to to visit Brazil. Mostly mm -hmm. we saw was a lot of nature, which is cool. Yeah. Brazil, Brazil like out of the yeah. the videos that we saw, Brazil probably has one of the best looking natures. Locals may complain a bit about how they wish your metro system could reach more parts of the city, but I like it. It's pretty. So this is class. This is. What is that? It's kind of like Malta, but it's a little different. It's so good. But I don't know where he got it. It's Russian. Uh, mm. It's really good. I used to drink it all the time. Clean, and it covers all the important spots of the city. I thought it was a little What's interesting it how like? it mostly. Like Malta. Oh. Like, you know, Goya's Malta. They're kind of similar. I would say here in the States is as close as it gets mm -hmm. to Malta. They have these public basket container things at the entrances giving out free condoms. I've what? never seen that before at a train station. I'm not going to make any assumptions as to why they have those there, because I don't want to feed into any Brazilian stereotypes. Okay. But I'm just saying. Also, if you're wondering if I took one as a souvenir, hell yeah, I did. I think it's still lying somewhere on a shelf in my house. Uh -huh. Walking through Sao Paulo, everywhere I see spray painting on the buildings, but I'm told it's not exactly wow. graffiti, but it's Picha Sound, which is like a secret code used by various factions of the local, I'll just call them underground vigilante groups. I guess oh, the largest wow. one here is the PCC or Primero Comando de Capital. I mean, look, I'm from LA. This isn't anything new to me. Different locations, slightly different methods of operation, but overall same concept. That's I can handle it. Look, Brazil, I get it. Your country has a complicated system of laws and legislation. I mean, you literally voted in a clown into your Congress whose slogan was, it can't get worse. It is what it is. I'm <laughs> just here to see Brazil. In That's any case, fun. it was yeah. time for New Year's. Come with me to clean my kids' that bathroom. First, I make the paste by mixing bacon yeah. with water. Then I clean every surface. You know, the inside the apartments and kind of like the windows and everything, it's a little like Miami. Best way mm -hmm. to 
like the, the structure, I, I can see like the similarities. Get to Londrina from Sao Paulo was by sleeper bus because it's faster than the uncomfortable yeah, train so ride now they're going to Also, Greenland. domestic mm -hmm. flights are way too expensive. Look, I really see the parallels between your country and mine. The highway culture, the cars, the semi-trucks, the diesel, billboard advertisements everywhere. Man, we really tried to get close to you in the 70s during the Cold War. <laughs> Yeah, I think kind of similar in Lithuania because it was like that in the Soviet times, but mm -hmm. that still maybe remains a little bit. But I think they're kind of evolving out of it nowadays. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. yeah, I think the the older generation is still like that. But you know, they're, as they're dying off, I think that's gonna kind of dissipate. Yeah, like, yeah rules are suggestions. Rules are suggestions. <laughs> a small city at all because supposedly it's a small city because we never heard of but it doesn't look like the skyscrapers does not get a small city at all man this part right here gives a little more nice. yeah this gives more small city Now, I don't know about these spiders, are they deadly? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we have something similar like this. Is, I wonder if it's Kenneth. Oh. It's like a grape inside. Oh, oh they're frying it. I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this jungle, I don't know if you can go in there. Like a nice little house here because mm -hmm. I saw I thought it had a pool too, pool. so they yeah, the pool. yeah, they must be a little well off. Made it to a Londrina, not a favela in Sao Paulo. <laughs> well, um, yeah, they, they're well off. Yeah. I'm not complaining, like, <sighs> Brazil is awesome, Londrina is awesome. For the record, on my last day of Brazil, I totally crashed my drone in Diogo's pool. Dear Brazil, oh, I already wow. knew this, but dear God, you guys eat a lot of meat. And I am not complaining. Every house comes with one of those, what do you call them? Churrascaria or something? The barbecue oh, pit and cool. various meat cuts are all over the place. My favorite, that's picanha cool. or rump steak. My I love God, I love that's, that's your favorite, 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 favorite meat, favorite. picanha. Uh, with the pineapple. This is part of pineapple? your culture. Yeah, I think half this trip is just going to be me exploring new foods I've never seen mm -hmm. or tried. You like so, that? I'm quite confused. It's oh! right here. This is one of the reasons. What is that? Brazil. No, papa. is that this thing? It's a little fruit that grows on the trunk of the tree, on the branches. Right? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll try one here. Take this. Let's try okay. it. I'll take one here. And you go. Mmm. And it's like the texture of a grape, but it had kind of like a like a jungly flower flavor. <laughs> I like it. Good. We look like we have those we'll here, but they don't have Go. a taste. Inside. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, this is that? a durian. <laughs> what is that? It's a fruit. Some people seeds. like it, some Your people don't like it. Yeah. What is it? Like, oh. what, what type of, what does it taste like? Mm. Kind of sour, but... I don't know how to describe oh. it. I feel like I'm eating slug. Some people like it, some <laughs> people don't like it. It's like eating a slug that's very sour and a little sweet. I like it. I like it. So when I travel, I like to go to grocery stores because you can really tell a lot about a country from the grocery stores. I have like six versions of bananas. Wow. This is a Nika. This is a very nice one. presentation. And here you have the shorter one stuff. It's the small one. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one has got a deep weight. 
Oh, like fatter. Coconuts only. That's on. cool. You only have bananas. One, period. Yeah. one banana. Bananas and plantains. Oh, That's it. I don't know if we have a little banana. I've seen them before, but I, I don't. I thought it was just banana that's little i didn't think there was like a separate mm -hmm. type you know 50 cents less than less than 50 cents less than are you kidding me it's, the variety is amazing 50 cents per coconut are How you much kidding are they me here, you know? you're in california they go for like five, five dollars each five yeah, well, yeah. really yeah. definitely not five dollars each we're not california but i, I don't know but for cents. those coconuts they could be five dollars each Told me that was actually expensive because coconuts on the street are even cheaper. Now, Brazil, you know me. Jackfruit is one of my favorite fruits. So you have oh, no idea when I went to a park and I saw an entire cluster of jackfruit trees just sitting there in public. Free for anyone in public Ooh. to pick. So you know what I did. Okay, so Barb's just found out a tree of jackfruits. We're here by the lake. This is going to ah. be interesting. I'm going to enjoy watching it. In the U.S. you don't have such things. Oh, you're a natural. So, which one you're gonna pick? What do you think that's good to take it? Yeah, he's saying that you shouldn't drop it because then it's gonna mature and rot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I can help you. Yeah. That's so he's cool. He's a natural, he's not even Brazilian and he's doing it. Uh, so I don't think I ever tried Jaffer. I think we saw it, but mm -hmm. I, I didn't buy it because it was expensive. Mm, here is three. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. you, uh, cool. fruit you made it. That yeah. you could pick from the tree, like in the city. Dear or Londrina, or... it took me a while. To I mean, you know, as a kid, you see it over because, like, the tr there's a fence, and sometimes, like, the branches go over a fence. You can't oh. just jump and take it, but it's technically somebody oh. else's. But no, we don't have like a public, public. You know. But yeah, that's as a kid, as an adult, different. Those weird metal basket post things were garbage containers. I was told they work really? better than bins because it makes it easier on the sanitation workers to empty. And also they help hold the trash during rainy seasons where floods could wash away bins. Regionally yeah, impressive, I like that. Second, geez, for a small city you have so many high rises. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, I mean, that's what I said. I, I thought it was a small city. Anything to do with that 2014 Lava Jato scandal thing? Well, either way, at least the city is growing. In Brazil, all the sidewalks change every block because the people are in charge of their own sidewalks. Oh, so every block or every building, they change every building or every block. Yeah. yeah. Every house or building, they're responsible for their sidewalk. Oh. Uh, what do we got? It's it's the cachaça. Minas Gerais cachaça. The real stuff. You don't find this anywhere outside of Brazil. <laughs> you can't buy these in the supermarket. Cachaça. <laughs> Dare to smell there, like never before. Worship yourself. Dear Brazil, dear God, I've never seen so many soy fields in my life. It's like a green ocean of soy plantations that just goes on and on. I love how in these plantations, though, occasionally you'll find a single lonely Paraná pine tree. I love these trees. They look like umbrellas. It's so cool. I can understand why they are the state tree of Paraná. In fact, I was told it's easier to go to prison for cutting one down than committing homicide. Well, we're going to see a lot of them for the next eight hours because we're going to go on a road trip to the last and final spot. Where are you going? The big grape of Maringa. Maringa. The kind of looks similar to what they look here. Brazil. I guess that's the location that they want to Also, I think this is like some sort of theme park because I, oh, never mind. I saw Ferris wheel. Fosse de Iguaçu was the perfect place for both Diogo and I. For me, because as you know, I love borders and interesting anomalies that come with them. And with this place, not only did we get a tri point with Paraguay and Argentina, but we also got Iguaçu Falls. For Diogo, he loved this place because when he's not busy modeling and being on random Italian reality TV shows, which I have no idea why they would hire him, he has a huge fascination. Oh, so his, guy, his friend is a model. That's interesting. Okay. With engineering and technology and full 
Los de Guasu has the Itaipu Dam, the largest in the Americas. His uncle used to work there, so he grew up seeing it. He loves this place. This is like his Disneyland. Aww. Time to go to Iguazu. <laughs> I think we saw this yeah. in our, when we did the, the top 10 places it's to see in Brazil, I think we saw this falls, yeah. We, uh, yeah, because I remember the tripod, pl was it, no, I think it was uh, not with Argentina, I think we saw a tripod place up north. Mm. No, but I think we saw these falls. Though. <laughs> ridiculously huge of dams let alone any of the other various types of energy facilities or their installed wattage capacities he keeps showing that uh, that glass yeah, he shows it on purpose because i want it now an absolute massive beast of a dam and whether you care about dams or not if you come here and see it for yourself you'll definitely say damn maybe they have an if we go there it's This is the last trip, so I think they're gonna head back. That's what's on side. They don't want to leave. Yeah. Did he say how long he stayed? I don't, I don't think so either. I wonder how long he stayed. It's very beautiful, Dina. Yeah, it definitely looks like a beautiful food. Looks good too. Mm -hmm. Everything looks really cool. Overall, I feel like this was a really good video. His definitely best video that we've seen because mm -hmm. his geography now it was kind of math. Well, his channel is geography now, but like you know when he does like about the countries, those are like kind of math for me. Like, too, oh, too much like information. This is coming at you like supersonic speed, but uh, this one was like really actually cool mm -hmm. vlog. Yeah, I like the vlog. Yeah, he did a good job. No, I think you maybe do a maybe he should do a separate one just for the foods. No? Yeah. What is a Brazilian <laughs> question? <laughs> the answer with the complex That's a great attitude to mm -hmm. have. I, I wish mm -hmm. you know I could have this attitude, but you can. You can. It's it's not that easy, but that's that's you a great can. attitude. You can. It can be that easy. I like that. It can be that easy. Dear Brazil, shortly after this, Diogo and I crossed over into Paraguay into Ciudad del Este. But I'll save that video for my Patreon patrons because this video is for you, not Paraguay. In any case, I know I only got to see oh, the south, and in no way can I. So he probably has like the the you know the food vlogs and everything else on patreon oh. okay. claim i truly experienced all of brazil I hell i didn't even get to see the oh, ocean Can you believe it? but you know what i spent new year's in a favela i had some of the best barbecue and i, I think he had a great time yeah no he yeah. had fun yeah, was i was nice. about to say that wasn't enough of, didn't look like a favela but then i realized that the pool wasn't the way he spent New Year's, so I guess. Mm -hmm. And literally climbed and harvested jackfruit from a tree. I'd say that's a good start to Brazil, isn't it? Anyway, I have no doubt I'll see you again. I swear one day I'm going to see Lençóis Maranhenses, and maybe I'll prove Acre exists. Who knows? But until then, até a próxima vez. Obrigado. Of course, the class. With a potato pancake. 
I don't oh, wonder yeah. if he's of Russian descent. He did say he a quarter Italian. Mm -hmm. So, do you think he's a uh, some some parts Russian too? Well, he's drinking floss and eating potato pancakes. We're collecting yeah. data and information yeah. to know his this full. Was, this was makeup. a good video. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. And as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible.